Good afternoon. Hello. My name is Marco and I will be your driver for today's trip to Wine Country. We're going to head over to the world famous wine growing region, the Napa Valley. We're going to visit two wineries today. You know, before we head over to Wine Country, I need to pick up three more passengers. One just up the street here and the other two are in South Salito. So for those of you that have not been to South Salito, I'm going to drive you through there. I'll tell you a little bit about it and then we'll pick up two more passengers once we have everyone. Then we'll head over to the valley and the second one is located in the town of Kenwood. The town of Kenwood is also part of the wine country. On the right side here, sometimes I look over there and see if anyone is swimming. Can you see anyone swimming over there? to be one of the largest swim swimming areas. If you see any swimmers, they're part of a swim team. Coming up, not this one, but the next one, we're going to cross Steiner. And on Steiner to the left and up the hill is where the Mrs. Doubtfire House, fundamentally Mrs. Doubtfire with Robert Williams is located. This is 2640 Steiner to the left a couple blocks up. It's on the corner of Steiner and Broadway. Take a look to the right side. You see the sign that says Cow Hollow. Well, this area that we're driving through is known as Cow Hollow. There used to be dairy farms here and there used to be cows here in the late 1880s. The people that lived here, they wanted to open their windows and smell the ocean and the fresh flowers. The only thing that they were smelling were cows. So they got rid of all the dairy farms, they got rid of all the cows. This area is still referred to as Cow Hollow. As we cross the intersection here, if you take a look to the left and up the hill, you'll see huge homes, big houses, and mansions. To the left and up the hill is the wealthy part of the city to live in. It is known as Pacific Heights. Up in Pacific Heights, there is a famous map if you walk around to the right side of the lake here at the Palace of Fine Arts building to get the best photographs of the whole Palace of Fine Arts building. This building was designed by Bernard May back in the year 1915 for the Panama, Panama Pacific International Exposition. People come here when they get married to take their wedding photographs. They graduate to take their graduation pictures. Sweet 16 photographs, quinceanera. George Lucas was inspired by that building and he created part to be to a little robot Star Wars movies. On the right side here, a strip of ground that you see. That was San Francisco's first airport. Airplanes used to land right there on that little strip of land. Today it is called Chrissy Fields. Next to Chrissy Fields is the Presidio of San Francisco, a former active military base of the United States Army. It says, look at the catch of the day to these restaurants. There is another school once in San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf. You can come here by ferry. You see that boat right there? It can bring you here. One departs the San Francisco Ferry Building. There are two ferries. One departs Pier 41, Fisherman's Wharf. The other one, the San Francisco Ferry Building. They charge you $13.50. It's a beautiful scenic 30 minute ferry ride. Come here, you can come visit, have lunch, have ice cream. There's a really good little ice cream place coming up on the left side called Lappert's Ice Cream. They have an ice cream that is called Hawaiian Sea Salt. hit the corner and I'm going to pick up two more passengers and then we'll be on our way to wine country. You ready to drink some wine? <laughs> well, first commercial winery that still exists today 
oldest winery is slightly older than the Napa Valley's oldest winery. Wineries, they begin to spring up throughout the Napa Valley and Sonoma, like Doma. They do the air tours. You can make a reservation, they can fly you around. Coming up on the right side, you'll see some of these airplanes. They do the air tours here in Sonoma, and also they do the air tours in Sausalito, the little town of Sausalito we drove to. They also do the air tours, you can make a reservation, they'll come and pick you up, fly you around. Once you complete their tour, they can drop you off where they pick you up. They drop you off back. Uh, the air tour? Uh, well, I'm not sure the price because what happened was before COVID. To the acids in the wine, wine is very high in acid. That's really where all of the flavor in wine comes from. And then in the second or third, you'll start to get uh, an idea of whether or not you like this wine. So how is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. What year is this wine? 2021. Yeah, so for this particular Chardonnay, we uh, take our Chardonnay in this winery and we put 50% of it into an oak barrel, like most of the barrels you see around you. The other 50% goes into a steel barrel. I looked over here because there used to be a tall stack of them. It's not there anymore. They moved everything. Oh, look, I found them! They're behind me. <laughs>
was born in Monterey in the year 1807. There's a statue of General Vallejo sitting on the bench on the left side right there. He became the Comandante of the Presidio in San Francisco in the year 1831. Alright everyone, we're back at our second location. We are at Mas... How do you say it? How do you say it, babe? Mas 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 Check it out. I wish we had our uh, cheese to go along with this, but this is our first taste testing of this vineyard, right? Must Cardini. And which one is this one? You know? We are going to try the 2021 Vermentino. Check it out. It's a really different smell. It has like a similar smell to the first one we've tried at the other vineyard. I kind of like the strong ones. The strong ones were like a little bit. I kind of like those. First time I'm having ripe melon, um, grapefruit, apricot, and Asian pear, and white peaches, and honeydew, melon, and almond, all in one. <laughs> everything? <laughs> Literally everything. Yeah. Take your time drinking, guys. We're all right, guys. This is our second glass for the Moscardini thing. We have a 2018 San Giovese. Right? San Giovese? San Giovese. There it is. Second one on there. You guys can see that. Check it out. It's crazy just smelling all these new flavors. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read off the list. And the aromas off this one is ripe red berries, fresh herbs, and baking spices. On the palate, flavors of cherry, cranberry, raspberry, and cinnamon. Now let's go ahead for a taste test. I feel like I'm in the movie Goodfellas. Drinking some red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers to some something new. the name it's like an Italian name um, I asked a question of, of if you're supposed to pair this with the wine he said you don't really usually pack you don't you you don't usually pair packaged cheese and just mommy with wine but if we were to do it this is how we were to do it so this is I'm gonna go ahead and spin it get the aromas going on give it a good swirl Nice and fruity, not too pungent, just very mellow smell. This one's better than the last one. 
from the Sangrovisi? How can you say that? What kind of cheese is this? Are you supposed to be I like the cheese. Mmm, <laughs> look at it. I've been myself, guys. <laughs> this is all new to me. Comment down below if you have any pointers for a newbie on trying wine, wine tasting. Just, I just want to smell it every time I drink it. Show around, show around everyone. Show around. Before you guys start recording, oh. before you guys start commenting, you're not supposed to pair cheese, packaged cheese, with packaged salami with wine. Well, here it is. We're packaging it and we're trying it. Here it is. I'll never do this. It's my second time eating it. Swirl it around. Good pairing. Whatever this is, it's a good pairing. Hillshire. All right, guys. We're trying out the Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. I hope. I know I'm not saying, saying the last name right. Right. The last name. <laughs> what? It's the first and last name. Well, whatever. You guys know what I mean, right? Cabernet. Sauvignon. 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 Huh? Sauvignon. Say it louder so everybody hears you. Sauvignon, okay? Hope you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys don't, it's because it's a local winery. They don't sell anywhere else besides in within the U.S. Within Sonoma. They don't no, ship. They ship. They ship. They ship. If How you're part of the about? club. By the way, they don't. He was saying you're okay. right there. If you're part of the club. And they can ship. Joining the club is free. Cheers, everyone. Guys, I want before I take a, a taste test of this, I just want to let you guys know that we were inspired by the movie Sideways. If you guys haven't watched the movie Sideways. Highly recommend it. Several years old, it's not too old, but I highly recommend it before you guys go wine tasting, or if you guys just want to get educated a little bit about your wine. Cheers. <laughs> so you're a wise guy, huh? 